and my speech with Moody Chad. He brought all the good equipment, so he gets to spend all the time setting it up every time we saw him. Okay. How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. Nice and fancy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm sure everybody's asking you a question. What was the number one reason that you decided to Well, I think uh, there's a, more than one reason, but um, when you, you, you're here and you win two World Series, it's tough to really turn your back on the city and the fans and, uh, and try to look for other places. Uh, you know, it's what every player wants. You want to be on a team that competes, plays well, and gives you a chance to win in a city that supports you and a fan base that, that comes out regularly. And, Obviously, San Fran fits all those. That's good to hear. It seems to be a special place for players. You know, sitting in the stands, it's one thing. But it's nice to hear that respect from the players. Uh, places are different, let's say. Definitely, <laughs> in terms yeah. of the support sure. and the vocal contribution. Um, obviously, you've been excellent from the, you know, from the bullpen. You're such a great specialist. And obviously, you still can't write these out, too. Um, but as far as the offseason, was there anything that you felt like you needed to work on in efficiency? Something that you needed to address? Well, I think uh, you always go in an offseason trying to game plan and try to get better. You know, the longer I've been in this game, I've always learned that uh, that you, you always add, you never subtract as you get going. And uh, you know, I, I went into the offseason kind of uh, thinking maybe pitch sequences a little bit and trying to think about different ways. Uh, you know, I've been so focused on getting lefties out that uh, I've kind of gotten away from some of the things that work to get righties out. I, you know, I, I used to throw. Um, you know, more complete innings and stuff early in my career, and now I'm coming in and just get one, two outs, and it's 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 real easy to just fall into that comfort zone. So you know, I try to work on the, uh, the pitches and some, trying to bring back some more of the off-speed things that I can use to both, not just lefties, but the righties as well. Yeah, so is that something that you're hoping maybe this year you do have more exposure, you get called the pitch, you know, two out of three batters or right is coming up, or two out of four, let's say, just 50, 50. they're still calling you out more often in those situations? Well, you want to be ready. That's what it is. You know, obviously, I know how our bullpen works, and that's another reason why I came back. I knew the continuity and how Oshie likes to run the, the, the bullpen. But um, when we do those kind of things, that you know, you want to you want to give him as many options as you can, and you want him to have the confidence in you to get any hitter out, regardless if it's right or lefty. So when we're in that position, that's what we want to do. And um, you know, obviously, when you want you want your number to be called and you want to be out there, but uh, ultimately, you just want to make sure you're prepared, and that's what I'm trying to do. And if you weren't a professional ball player, what sport would you like to have played professionally? That's a great question. I think I'd probably go with basketball. Um, just because you get to wear shorts and a tank top, you know, <laughs> and you're always going to play, and it's inside. You don't have to worry about any. You don't have to worry about the weather. I'd say golf would be a close second. The only problem with golf is that uh, you know you got to golf. You have to deal with winds and stuff like that. And I'm not a very good golfer, but I, I would hope I, I would. If I'm being a professional, that I'd, I'd figure it out at some point. Right. And if there's one rule in baseball that you can change, because you know the sport is relatively <laughs> changed. We just had the change to catchers in the first to third last year. The replay. What would you? Change. I would change. Oof, that's tough to just narrow it down to one. But the one for sure, <laughs> the, top one. the one for sure would be the when a when a pitcher comes in and the guy steals second base uncontested. Uh, say you're up by however many or down or uh, whatever, uh, and then you give up a base hit and that guy scores. That should be an honor run. <laughs> because the guy's already in scoring position, but you didn't try to get him out. Right. You know, so I don't think that's, you know, so it's, it's any, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I doubt it, but that would be the one I would change. Yeah, all the super metric guys probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, now we have to change everything. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. No problem. Yep. The right hander for the Giants throws. Swing and a miss! And that's it! The Giants are world champions!